for part E, we have the product. As I read it, I see product of x squared plus one multiplied by square root of two x minus three. When you see the product, to find the derivative, we're gonna to refer to the product rule. Okay, the product rule, recall when you have y in the terms of the product of the f and g, the y prime is f times the g prime plus the f prime times g, or do make a list like what we did in the class together. We do the list the f here, g here, we find f prime, we find g prime, we multiply cross way to form the formula for the product rule. Okay, as we see this as a product, let's identify the function f function g. The first one we let be f, so f is x squared plus one, and the g is square root of two x minus three. The f prime or the derivative of the f is two x plus zero or just two x, yeah, two x. And then the g prime, this is a radical, write it as a power first. This is two x minus three to the power one half. And then, when you see the two x minus three to the power one half, you have the function, the entire function raised to the power one half. So this time we're gonna apply the general power rule. Recall the one inside, we usually should use the gx, right? I, I use the yellow color just to make it different. So in this case, your gx is two x minus three, your n is one half, so the follow up the g prime gonna be two. So then the pink g, the one in pink g using the general power rule gonna be the power n multiplied by the quantity g to the power n minus one multiplied by the derivative of it. Okay. I'm gonna put the note again, just in case that you don't recall yet the general power rule. For the general power rule, if you have y in the form of the function g to the power n, so the y prime is n quantity gx to the power n minus one times the g prime of the x. Okay, so this is the side notes. Oh, this is still prep work. Your goal is to find the y prime. At this point, you can simplify two and two, and then your function g now should be simplified further to be just the quantity two x minus three to the power negative one half. And then we're gonna start working on the product rule. This y prime in the form of f times g prime plus f prime times g. What is my f? My f is the quantity x squared plus one. My g prime is the quantity two x minus three to the power negative one half plus the f prime, which is two x. And my g is the quantity two x minus three to the power one half. I get the placeholder done. I mean, I fill in the placeholder for the product rule. And the next step, I'm going to have to clean up. When you see the negative power, it might be easier to write it as the positive power. You, in this way, you cannot like distribute x squared plus one into the parentheses because both two terms is protected by the power negative one half. So the easiest way to handle this situation we write a negative power into the positive power in the reciprocal form. Okay, the second term, nothing that you can do, just leave it the way it is as a product. And then you treat them like you add the fractions that they don't have the same denominator. That means you're gonna multiply the second one, the second fraction by the quantity two x minus three to the power one half over two x minus three to the power one half. And both of them will share the same denominator now. 
which is 2x minus 3 to the power 1 half. The first quantity of the numerator stay as x squared plus 1, but the second quantity is going to be from multiplying the 2x and the 2x minus 3 to the power 1 half and another factor of the 2x minus 3 to the power 1 half. We call the power 1 half times the power 1, I mean, the term. I'm going to make more space for this one, OK? Let's make more room. So then uh, I'm going to carry over here. So the x squared plus one on the first term, actually we can uh, open the parentheses because we don't have to worry about the sign. And the second group is gonna be two x multiplied by, now becomes a power one because we're gonna add the power one half and one half becomes a power one. All divided by the two x minus three to the power one half. What you have to do a little bit more is to clean up the numerator. So then we get x squared plus 1 plus 2x times 2x, which is 4x squared, minus the 2x times negative 3, that is negative 6x, and all divided by the quantity 2x minus 3 to the power 1 half. Simplify one more time. As you see, the light terms x squared and 4x squared, that becomes 5x squared plus one minus six x. So I'm gonna write it in the order of the power all divided by two x minus three quantity one half or in the form of five x squared minus six x plus one all divided by square root of two x minus three as the derivative of the y or the y prime.